here's the row of kings and queens in the lower portion of the facade of Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. I've just already drawn a bit of the framework here. So again, I'm, I'm positioning the head, the shoulders. Now I'm looking to see where, where the hands are and they're just a, they're a bit above halfway. And then the other ones underneath because the hands are in fact holding uh, some sort of scepter item. So I'll just draw that in first. So I've, I've drawn the hands and what he's holding before I've even, and now if I pay attention to just where the shoulder is, now there is a waistband there. And I'll add a bit of decoration there. So we've got, and then from here, So I've just indicated that there's some drapery coming down there. I certainly haven't got caught up in trying to do the particular drapery it is. And I want to indicate there's some sort of crown because the other thing to remember, of course, is of scale. These are very small part of a much larger drawing. What we want is not so much a drawing of this sculpture as a drawing of the effect of the figure. So let's, let's do the same thing with this, the guy next to him, shall we? Okay, now his crown's a little more crown-like. Well, I'm, I'm looking at this, this hand there. Okay, and the fact that that comes down. Now he's, he's got a hand down here where he's holding some sort of scepter-y thing. So again, I just want to capture that and his waist. Now there's not much in the way of drapery here, which Sometimes makes it a bit harder when there's nothing really to draw. Um, there's a bit of a shadow there, and okay, there's a sense of this being folded against his across his um, chest. And we'll just get to this last figure here. And again, we put the head in. And again, we've 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 got this scepter object being held so I'd be inclined to draw that first I'm paying attention to where the the arm is there's no great foreshortening here now there's a ah I'm like looking at this one instead of that one never mind um, I don't think anyone's going to notice if I was drawing the whole thing and and there we have it Next, we have the wonderful facade of the Hotel de Ville in Paris, covered in these beautiful sculptures. And so it's very difficult to draw if we can't in some way at least represent these figures in our drawing. So we're going to look at these two lower figures and I've already prepared their little pictures. So how would we go, how would I go drawing these? Now it's the same principle I'm wanting to really um, just suggest them so that at a glance, we see the men standing there in some sort of pose that would make them look a bit different. So the first thing I pay attention to is where is the head in this space? So it's not actually in the center, it's off to the side. Okay. So we're not worried about trying to put a face on because there isn't, there isn't room to do that. So I'm looking at that. Now, I'm also looking here at, um, again, where is his hand in relation to his head? So about there. And pay attention to things such as sashes. Okay, so we've kind oh, of better put his arm in. And again, just be aware of how silhouettes may work where these are. So now let's look at the other chap here. His head is over towards the left hand side. Um, 
get his shoulders. Now, what's what have we got happening? We've sort of got a again. I'm I'm looking at the lines of the fabric because they're often the main thing that catches our attention, and they can give us just indications of where to put other features. And his his waist is quite high here, which is quite common. I find when you're looking at these. Um, older fashions that that people are wearing that in fact the the waists were very high compared to what we would do so it's just being aware of that so we don't do the waist too high and again I just position that hand and the important thing to remember is not to worry too much about any one figure because it's just one figure in a very richly ornamented facade. And really it's the overall effect that really matters. And so it's the overall effect we're going for in our drawing in this way. Oh, I see there's some shadow coming over here. So, and there's shadow here. Having drawn that, I need to draw that shadow as well. Now these figures are actually drawn um, significantly larger than I'd be drawing them if I was drawing this scene. So, because I would be including the whole the whole building, so it would be much smaller. Well, to my annoyance, I've just drawn those two figures without having turned the camera on. So now I get to draw the other two figures so that you can actually watch me draw them. So again, I, I want to define the actual space where the heads are going to be. And I need to also keep some correlation now with the ones I've already drawn, which I didn't have to do the first time around. And the figures will get slightly larger as they move very slightly closer to us. Not as large as I first drew that. So I, I draw that limb, that arm, and now it's really just creating this nice triangle of shape. And then that kind of helps to define what's happening here. Now there's a some sort of, I don't know, palmy thing happening. So I just really want to get the sense of there's a hand here holding something. Now this, this knee comes forward and that's the key spot, the key movement to try and capture. And then the drapery kind of drapes straight between the legs. And then there's more here. So now I'm going to add the figure next to her. What's happening here so this this waist is kind of pivots and gives her a nice swing then her hand is kind of there so this arm and again where there are these tensions in the fabric. We want to make them suggested clearly enough by just doing enough lines that all go back to one point that that in effect just suggest that there's a gathering of the of the the tunic. Sitting up high in a facade with with lots of other details on that's going to sit happily enough and that will that's that's certainly the way I think as I'm drawing figures such as this I'm not trying to draw a figure I'm just trying to note various points of tension and where lines come together hi I'm Stephen Travers I hope that was helpful and at least interesting architectural sculptures can be very difficult because there's just such a different element in an architectural subject and yet 
they adorn some of the grander structures that that as a lover of architectural drawing we just want to draw so can I encourage you to have a go? But the important thing is not to think of it as figure drawing. Don't try and draw a figure or you'll end up with all arms and legs and necks going everywhere. Just see it as a number of objects to draw in close proximity to each other and, and see if that doesn't help you actually suddenly have a better figure than you would have had if you tried to draw a figure. At least that's my approach and it's worked okay for me. But the important thing is whichever way you use to draw your figures, have fun. I'll see you next time. Bye.